Hey guys, what's up? I'm Plasmaraptor and welcome back to another John Trash video. In this video, we're going to be doing something different and this is related to the John Trash moderator application that was just released. And yeah, I did submit an application and in today's video, I'm just going to be going over what I, if I was a moderator, what I would look for in a level. Like, what would make it rate-worthy, what would make it not rate-worthy, what would make it feature-worthy, and so on. The level used in the form was Immortal Iris by Gus Earth. I'm not going to review this level because I don't want to give people, like, just, like, a they because I don't want to have people like copy my uh, response. So I'm just going to go into the magic tab to find some good levels. Like sometimes they're not right with you, sometimes they are. So yeah, I'm just gonna start from the top and I'm gonna have rate worthy levels and non rate worthy levels in this video just to give like a full review. So first one is Lunar Eclipse by Small Clune. This person doesn't have any rated levels, which is kind of cool. So I want to give new creators some chance if I do become a moderator to actually rate some levels. So let's get into this. Okay, so it has some good block design, but I feel like that's the one from the John Trash tutorial. So that's not very original. So obviously this is already a demon, I can already tell. Yeah, it seems kind of copy and pasty. Something as good as like the particle, the oversized particle effects, that's okay. I feel like it's just very copy pasty. So there's no originality in this. So here is some really bad gameplay, uh, some impossible level gameplay. And you do not want that in your level. You do not want these. They'll not get rated if it has that. So already not off to a pretty bad start. Okay, so this part looks much better. There's some background right here. And there's some pulses to the blocks. Uh, I think maybe the sauce could use some deco. And maybe the orbs could be a bit, like, not transparent. Like, it's almost invisible there and you can barely see it. Okay, so this part has some cool, like, movement here. Like a cool uh, orb movement thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's different, so that's okay. Okay, there's some movement here. Which is pretty good. Okay, so there's a bug here. There is, in fact, a bug here. Oh, you can barely get past it, but stuff is invisible, and it's messing it all up. Looks- this part looks a lot like Auditory Breaker, you know? The Sonic Wave remake. So many Sonic Wave remakes, oh my gosh. Like one- another one better not get rated. <laughs> gosh, there's a memory section, oh no. <laughs> Was that Among Us? Why is Among Us in literally everything? Like, why? I'm so confused. That's easily chokeable, I know that. I didn't do that right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is directly copied from Sonic Club Infinity there. Yeah, so this is, uh, very unoriginal. And, by the way, I'm going to be ranking these levels on decoration, gameplay, length, difficulty, playability, and if it's appropriate or not. So, uh, decoration, very unoriginal and used from tutorials and stuff. And it's all, like, one color throughout. There's no other thing except black, blue, and white. And then gameplay, I would say, is quite annoying. It's not very fun. So, and then the length is good because it's long. So that's a plus. And the next one is difficulty. I would say this is, yeah, you can definitely choose a difficulty for this. This is probably around high-end insane demon or really easy extreme. Then playability. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it has too many objects because it didn't lag on this. Uh, of course, there's a low detail mode, so that's good. It's always good. And then appropriateness, 10 out of 10, nothing inappropriate in this level. But from the decoration and gameplay, I would say a no for a rate. So this is probably not rate worthy. Next one is Bow by StarMix50. I present to you my best level I've ever made, Bow. Please like and rate harder, six star. Deco, one week. Layout, one day. Okay, let's see. Rainbow. Okay, so this is a pretty simplistic style. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad so far, except some of the things don't tie in. It's not very polished, so this block design. Like, the checkerboard pattern doesn't look too good. Um, uh, but it's, who knows? Uh, it could get better. 
And then also the background here in the block design is same exact thing. I like the pulsing, um, like the pulsing colors in the background, and these little things around the orb don't fit the modern style. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad so far. It's quite samey so far in the first two parts. I really like how the music syncs to the, um, what's it called? The background changes right there. That's cool. The movements feel a bit awkward in this part, but that's fine. Not a bad thing. All right, here's a bit of a change. This is not bad, but I still wouldn't say rate worthy yet. It feels like, I don't know, the jerky movements and that doesn't really fit. And then there's no design here. Uh, and then, yeah. It just needs to be polished, you know? Okay, I like how they're putting these touch triggers there so that you can't skip the orbs and stuff. So that's a good, that's something good. Background hasn't changed. The block design has changed very little. Then there's, I don't know. It just feels kind of, eh, feels kind of meh. Okay, so there's a bit of a duel, but then this is very hard on the eyes. Um, the rainbow there. Okay, this part's not bad. That, like the arrow effect there. See, okay, this is good. You changed up the color a bit. Maybe just put a bit more like polishing there and then this could be a really good part. And then this is back to the beginning uh, style. That's a hard timing at the end. And then bow. Okay, I like how you recreated the oxygen uh, font. Okay, so on decoration, I wouldn't say this is too good. Maybe like a six out of 10. It feels very unpolished and um, not too good. It's almost there, it has lots of potential. And then gameplay wise, it was pretty good for a nice and easy level. And length was good because it's long. This was very balanced all the way through, I feel like. A couple parts were maybe a little bit harder, um, such as the end, like the very end, there was a couple timings and then there in the wave, it was a bit harder than the other parts. Uh, so the difficulty, it would be a bit harder to choose six or seven, around that. I would say maybe six. And then playability, definitely everyone can play that. That did not look like it had too many objects. It also has a low detail mode, which is always good. And then it was completely appropriate. So many of the things, the most important things are decoration, uh, playability, and gameplay though. So I would say this is not rate worthy yet. It's super close. You just have to polish up some stuff. Okay, next one, Hyperfeeling by Framos. Okay, let's go. Uses Hyperfeeling by CD Jeremy. Okay, let's see. Okay, now this looks really good, uh, as in it's very polished and it feels, it feels good uh, to play. Like it looks good too. Don't know about the air deco though. There doesn't seem to be too much air deco, like enough to fill it. Feels kind of empty in some parts. Okay, right, that's kind of blinding, but that's fine. Okay, this part looks good. Okay, that is cool. That is cool. Okay, definitely this part. This part's amazing. This part looks great. Uh, it has really good uh, gear designs. Gameplay doesn't seem way too hard to read. I like how they put that jump pad there. Okay, here's a problem. Invisible portal right there. Don't do that. Upcoming boss. Okay. Okay, this looks pretty nice. Okay, so some parts look really good, others don't look too good, but overall, I feel like this level is pretty okay. It's meh, but I think it's about just about good enough to get a rate, maybe not a feature. Some, the ship part, like right at the drop, definitely worthy for, like, feature worthy. So decoration, I would give it like 7.5 out of 10, because it... They maintain a style throughout the whole level, uh, but yeah, there's definitely parts that are way better and some parts that are a bit worse. So 7.5 out of 10. Gameplay, pretty easy to sight read. So I would give it like 8 out of 10 on that. And that gameplay doesn't matter way too much for rating a level. Some rated levels are extre have extremely bad gameplay. Uh, and then length, good because it's long. Difficulty, I would say definitely not insane on this. So I would probably say around like maybe 6 star. That'd be good. And then playability, def everyone can definitely play this. It also has a low detail mode, which is kind of surprising. It doesn't have high objects, so I'm pretty sure a lot of devices, or most of the devices can play this, and it's completely appropriate. So I would say this could get a rate, 
definitely not a feature, it's almost there. Uh, just Framos, keep working on it, it's, it's really good, maybe update it a few times. Take away that invisible portal and you'll be good. And next one, we're gonna do Infinity by Redwire. Everywhere and nowhere, everything and nothing. Sequel to Eternity, verified by me in 8,356 attempts. Art by Davix AF. So, yeah, this first jump is kinda weird. <laughs> Okay, this isn't too bad. I just feel like the saws are kind of spammed here. I like the colors though. I like how the colors fade and stuff. And the theming seems pretty well done here. And the gameplay seems to be all orbs right now. So it's not too good. And that's not good. That little wave section, they're not even D blocks. But the decoration seems pretty okay so far. Uh, so this part looks very messy. Uh, I don't feel like this is rate worthy right now. Yeah, this is definitely by far unbalanced. These, wa these wave parts look kinda nice. It's just, I feel like it's everything is carried by the glow. And I'm I, uh, not saying glow is a bad thing. Glow is a really good thing when used correctly. All right, here, that doesn't look bad. I like the black used here for contrast. Okay, that's kinda cool. The way this pulse and this looks neon, that's really good. Really good there. Okay, this part's great too. The way the effects... So there, yeah, there's a lot of effects in this level. Maybe just a bit too empty. That's honestly kind of creepy and unsettling. That's, yeah, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, probably the messiest part so far. There seem to be a lot of really hard wave parts. Not really hard, but just not very well balanced. Okay, this part looks nice. I like how they included the glowy um, uh, saws in here, that really fits. But again, the saws feel kind of spammed. And I like how the blocks have like uh, fragments of them coming off them. Uh, I would say decoration here was very cluttered and didn't look too nice. So maybe like five out of 10, it wasn't very good here. Uh, some parts did look okay, so maybe I'll bump it up to a 6 out of 10. Gameplay was pretty bad. It was not balanced. I don't know. It felt like kind of rushed gameplay, like not very thought out gameplay. And then length is good because it's long. Difficulty, I would say definitely an extreme demon. That's very hard. And then playability, it does have low detail mode, so you can use that, so that's good. Um, and then appropriateness. Uh, I would take away some points from that because it was kind of- the Spongebob was kind of unsettling. I'm not saying that's not- that's inappropriate or anything, it's just kind of maybe a bit unsettling for some people. I don't think that's right worthy yet, it's almost there, but yeah, I'll go on to the next level. So next one is Eyes in the Water by Bowtie GD. Oh, and this guy has CP. Okay, I can't read Morse code. <laughs> okay, so the person said it's always watching. Okay, uh, let's see, Eyes in the Water. Okay, this is already fantastic, I can tell. So, I love the effect here. I love the way the blocks move. It all adds to the theme. It all adds to the atmosphere. This is really nice. I like the wave effect, and I like the flickering effect. The atmosphere that this level creates is really cool. And the fact that the description was in Morse code also adds to the uh, atmosphere of this. It feels very mysterious and spooky. Oh, okay. So maybe there could be like a path that shows that you have to go into the middle there. Cause I died when I didn't go there. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a face. Okay, so what does that say? There's eyes in the water. Okay, that's so cool. Just the theme here. And the gameplay is kind of boring here, but it fits very well with the theme. Really well. So I can't deduct points off of gameplay of that. Okay, I like this neon looking part. This is great. I like the way these 3D blocks are all individual and the way they look. The arrows showing the paths are really cool. This song is very, very unsettling. Whoa, okay, so I really like the sync here. It goes chaotic when this uh, song goes very chaotic. Oh uh, yeah, so far this definitely looks epic worthy. Okay, so you have to kick three times. I really like that concept, that's cool gameplay. And it syncs with the music. I really like this. The, just the atmosphere it creates is amazing. Yeah, this is great. Eyes in the water. Wow, okay. That definitely would deserve a feature in an epic. If Rob Top rates this, it would probably be an epic. 
Uh, so decoration here, probably 9.5 or 10 out of 10. In some parts it was empty, but that fits the theme, but then it uh, makes up for that with the chaoticness and the the theming and the style. Yeah, I've said the theme so many times. The gameplay was really cool. I love the cool concept where you have to click three times in the wave. That's very good. I really like how in it said there's eyes in the water, there's eyes in the water. Um, I like how it was very slow and repetitive there. And the length is good because it's long. The difficulty, maybe easy demon, something around there. And then playability, there's a low detail mode that's always good. And that means a lot of people should be able to play it, so that's good. And then appropriateness, everything is okay, except maybe some people might feel unsettled by the song. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely feature worthy. Good job, Bowtie GD. And I will do one more level. Vonic went by Vonic. Okay, let's see this. Okay, this looks cool. This kind of looks cool. I'm glad it's not a Sonic Wave remake. If you know what I mean, it feels slightly rushed here. I like how the background, like these little blocks, uh, these blocks, they like dance up and down. And then as you can see right here, it feels kind of rushed here. Uh, like you just spammed objects there. I like the way these particles come down. The atmosphere is pretty good. Okay, so this is another Nine Circles level. It's unique though. I like how you use movements too. This is actually pretty nice. Okay, this is actually really good. I like this. Use a very unique looking nine circle style. That was a bit odd. The way the speed pour is just like in there and it's not like on top of everything. Yeah, and it's definitely synced too. Like, but it's kind of repetitive. There's no slight change in the style. Like in a lot of levels, there's a slight change in the uh, nine circle style. And there's, you can get a coin up there, okay. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Uh, so decoration, I would say in the first part, um, till the wave, I would say it's about like 7.58 out of 10. That was actually pretty good. It just felt slightly rushed. And uh, the wave kind of went down a bit. It was kind of empty and the layering in that speed pool wasn't right. <laughs> so I would say probably like a 6.57 on that. And then the gameplay, I would go to say it was pretty nice and it fit pretty well with the theme. Like the structuring and everything, it synced also. Um, so yeah, I would say eight out of 10, <laughs> I don't know. And then length is good because it's long. Difficulty, I would say about medium demon. But yeah, I would definitely put more thought into this out if I was a moderator. I wouldn't go this quick on deciding if it's rate worthy. I would definitely talk to some friends who know, um, who know some moderators like Hyperblitz. And yeah, he could help me decide too. Okay, so maybe Easy Demon, maybe Easy Demon. Uh, and then playability, yeah, that's pretty play. That's pretty playable. Maybe just blinding in some parts. And then uh, appropriateness, completely appropriate. So yeah, I would say maybe uh, rate worthy, almost to feature worthy, almost, really close. So today we went over Vonic Wave, which I think would deserve a rate worthy. Then we did Eyes in the Water, definitely epic worthy, but I can only say feature if I was a mod. Then we did Infinity. This one was definitely not great worthy. It was almost there, almost there. Hyper feeling, uh, let me try and remember this. I think this would be rate worthy. Yeah, this was rate worthy. Uh, and then there was Bow. And it was the modern simplistic style one that was almost rate worthy. You could just polish it up a bit, add some difference and balance it a bit better. And then there was Lunar Eclipse, which was very unoriginal, uh, and I didn't think it was rate worthy. So yeah, we did those levels. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to submit in the mod application, you can find it in the John Trash Discord server. It's in the news. And yeah, you can just submit your form. I actually hope that I might get moderator one day. That would be just crazy. And I just really feel like I could be helpful and I could find many levels because I know a bunch of levels that um, really could be rated, but just haven't. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing because I put a lot of time and effort into my videos and I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I can only do that with your guys' support. So please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.